Hi, I'm Tom Kennedy, the host of It's Your Bet. It's Your Bet is a game show, and then again, it's a comedy show. It's a conversation show, and, well, you might just say it's an all-around fan magazine of the air. You know, we just recently celebrated our second birthday on It's Your Bet, which is no wonder, for the show's extremely popular with viewers and guests, celebrities alike, and why not? Where else but here can the stars of Hollywood let their hair down and have a chance to perform before the public with their very own wife or husband or the latest young man or woman in their lives? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 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 I just said it was a clean shot. <laughs> The game is played between two celebrity couples, and it's based on what they know or don't know about each other. And the prizes won go to a member of our uh, studio audience. Now, motion picture star Jane Powell is married to her manager, Jim Fitzgerald, and here's a moment from one of their most recent shows. Jane, we're gonna ask Jim to tell us. <laughs> what were your last words to him before you fell asleep last night? All right. See how they I'll get easier? I'll bet a hundred that he... Hey, Jim. Uh, just before Jane closed those beautiful big blue eyes last night and fell asleep, what was Jane's very last comment to you? <laughs> I just said it was a clean shot. <laughs> Another favorite, Keenan Wynn and his wife, Charlie. They've been married a long time. As Keenan proves right here, when I asked him the time of day that their wedding took place. At Ramey Air Force Base in Puerto Rico, uh -huh. in a place called Aguadilla, uh -huh. we were married by an Air Force chaplain at 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh. At 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't believe you. She bet that you would remember at 6 o'clock in the morning. But all the other stuff was good. I mean, yeah, that's right. That's correct, because I said one o'clock the last yeah. oh, I remember that one. <laughs> well, anyway, you can see that It's Your Bed reveals more than uh, just a little bit of the real personalities of today's Hollywood stars. Now, for instance, if you thought, even for a moment, that spelling was a dull subject at school, let me assure you that is not the case here on It's Your Bet. As Burt Reynolds and his delightful Eurasian girlfriend actress Miko Mayama recently proved. Bert, we have all uh, often seen you all dolled up in your tuxedo. Dashing figure. Have you? Would you please spell cummerbund? <laughs> I don't need this, you know. <laughs> no need to be made a fool of. <laughs> Come, cummerbund. Ooh. Huh? Cummerbund. Are you trying to give me a hint the way you pronounce it? <laughs> Cummerbund? C. How am I doing so far? C U M. R A G. <laughs> C U M. Now, the way you pronounce it, it would be C U M E R Cummerbund. B U N, you see. But the way I pronounce it, it would be C U M B E R B U N. Ah, crazy. So, well, anyway, th this is now what Bob Fuller and his wife Patty talked about as they took that fateful walk down the aisle. Just before you and Patty marched down the aisle and exchanged those very sacred vows, Patty told us that she asked you one last question. What was that question? Are you sure you want to go through with it? What's going on in that room? <laughs> I got a woman in there? Oh, open no. the door, I'll throw one in. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whether on or off the stage, I'm happy to say Ford and Hines are the same kooky people. And now here is how our game is played. We have two celebrity couples. They're here to find out how much they think they know about each other. Now, on each question, they are allowed to bet up to 100 points on whether their partner can or can't answer a certain question. The first team to score 300 points wins the game and a prize for a contestant in our studio audience. Now, that member of our studio audience can win even more in our preference round. I tell you what, so you can see a full game of It's Your Bet played. 
We have for you now two of our recent dating couples. One of the stars of Laugh In, Richard Dawson, and his date, Celeste Yarnell, along with Peter Lawford and his then fiance, Mary Rowan. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Dawson will now dazzle you with the way he lifts this telephone. <laughs> Two arm press. Peter Lawford's home. You didn't know he was away. Uh, is Richard Dawson there? Present. Ah, oh, good, Richard. We're going to ask Celeste to tell us the one word. You use to sum her up, and we'll give her a choice of five, including the one you gave us. All right, thank you. Let this be a lesson to you. Okay. I will bet 100. That's Celeste. Mm-hmm. Celeste, we ask Richard to sum you up for us in just one word. Which of the following was his actual reply, did he say? Delicious, desirable, dependable, frustrating, or talented? That's what he said. Anybody else? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Did you get it? Yeah. Does that mean that I'm not delicious, desirable, and dependable, too? You would have to ask him, but I would not think so. One does not <laughs> preclude the other. Everything's not beautiful. That's right, but talented. you got a hundred points. And Pita? Pita? I'd like a saliva test on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Pete, we're going to ask Mary to tell us where you were when you proposed to her. Bye. Right, bye. I will bet 100 that she... Mary, when Peter proposed to you, incidentally, was it the classic formal type of proposal? Bended knee, kiss the back of your hand. It, no, was it? Oh. I hate to ruin his image. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Well, anyway, where were you when he proposed to you? Can I say this on TV? <laughs> Well, thing is beautiful. We, were in, we were in bed. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, <laughs> no, she was in her bed. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> dear, that. What did she say? <laughs> That's not. I guess I we won a hundred points. <laughs> That's <laughs> not what's on. Listen, I'm not. <laughs> I would suggest stopping tape. No, I suggest you give us the hundred points and we'll continue. <laughs> no, I'm going away. You had your fun, now uh, we're at ours. <laughs> Now, I'm off this show, and you're off laughing. You, <laughs> you bet 100 points. Well, you bet 100 points, and you got them. Did we? Yeah. We won? You won 200. No, what? We got those He points. bet that she'd know. That's you mean that's not right? It is, too. How could she lie? <laughs> Thank you, Tom. What did you say? How can you lie about something like that? He right. said in the living room. <laughs> How could you lie like that? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, you're right. You know something? He's right. She has to answer according to your answer, Pete, and we got the information so that it's... it's we have a chance. That's right. We have a chance to win. <laughs> Maybe she was in the living room and Just he was in the bed. 200 <laughs> points of Pete. Enough of that. That's... All right, I can't take any more of this. <laughs> Would you like me to spell a no? <laughs> <laughs> Celeste? Now, ask me a clean question. Well, they're all clean <laughs> questions. It's the answers. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Celeste, we're going to ask Richard to tell us the one place in England that the queen is never permitted to enter. Do you think he'll know? Well, I, that's up to you. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Okay, here we go. It's 200 <laughs> points apiece. I've got an answer for this, but I won't say it. Okay. Not you, too. Okay, I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet 100 points that Richard... <laughs> uh oh honey, do that again. Pull or uh, push or whatever it is. I'm pulling and pushing oh, well, and holding Well, just whatever on. you're doing, just that do it. Clean. Oh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> There's nothing we can say now. There's There's nothing I'd like, like to throw it out. She <laughs> said push. Let's bring this court to order. Richard Dawson? Present. Isn't it true that you were born in England? Yes, it's true. Then will you please tell me what one place in all of England the Queen is not permitted to enter? <laughs> the gentleman's room of the House of Commons. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Ah, uh, let me think. The one room that she's he not allowed... He answered it. He answered it. She's not allowed to enter. I mean, that's... But I can't believe it. It's got to be the men's room somewhere. 
That's your answer, the men's room. Well, I mean, any gentleman's room. Any gentleman's room. Yes. I won't, I'll confirm my answer if you don't mind, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've done enough last, for your family. <laughs> the last fortunate event you would not know it's the House of Commons. You've won the game with 300 because points. Because I thought oh. it was the men's room, too. <laughs> and that's our show. The performers find it a delight, as our two-year success as the number one program in its time slot in New York proves. And as for myself, well, I find it to be one of the most delightful tasks I've ever undertaken. Now, these are brand new, first-run programs. They're produced by Ralph Andrews Productions, a Meredith company. And I'm looking forward to being a five-time-a-week visitor on your station, and it's a safe bet that your audience will love every minute of it, too. So I hope you'll join us soon. Till then, Tom Kennedy saying goodbye for now. Distributed worldwide by Jack Rhodes Productions. In her book of romance, how no, does... No, no, no. On the subject of romance, in Lois's book, how does she rate you? Aha, uh -huh, on how... How does she rate you <laughs> on the subject of romance? Aha. Uh -huh. That's pretty clear, Doctor. <laughs> Lois, did he say, in the middle, on the bottom, on the top? How do you rate him? How did, what do you think he said? Yeah. Um, what do I think he said that I would say? <laughs> what do you think he said that you thought he did? No. <laughs> no. What do you think he said when he... I, I'd say on the top. That's what he said. <laughs> that easy. <laughs> modest here all the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, you've won three games, and I think on all three preference rounds, you've gotten both of them. Let's see what this one comes well, this, up This is the indication of how we really well know it. Yeah. Yes. Lois, of these, which type bathing suit do you prefer to wear? Mm-hmm. David, did she say one-piece, two-piece, three-piece? <laughs> three-piece? <laughs> no, that's not an answer. Uh, <laughs> one-piece, two-piece, three-piece. Two-piece. That's what she said, two piece. You got both of them right. John, what does that mean for Clotilda Haley? In addition to the slack, she has won the space range. Hey, Congratulations. There you go, Clotilda. Congratulations. You did it. Yes, you're welcome. We'll be back with our stars right after this word. And that's our show. The performers find it a delight. As our two years' success as the number one program in its time slot in New York proves, and as for myself, I find it, well, it's one of the most delightful tasks I've ever undertaken. Now, these are brand new first-run programs, and we're just setting out now to put together 52 weeks more of the same. They're produced by Ralph Andrews Productions, a Meredith company, and distributed worldwide by Jack Rhodes Productions, 240 East 55th Street, New York, New York, 10022. If you want to call him, it's area code 212-758-7377. Uh, if you're scrambling for a pencil, I'll repeat it for you. Jack Rhodes Productions, 240 East 55th Street in New York, and that's uh, zip 10022. Or on the phone, area code 212-758-7377. Now, for these brand spanking new shows, why don't you give Jack a call right now? I'm looking forward to being a five-time-a-week visitor on your station, and I know it's a safe bet that your station and your audience We'll love every minute of it, so I hope you'll join us soon. Bye for now. Tom Kennedy saying, look for you on your station. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be indefinite.